Welcome back to my channel, guys. It's your girl, Coco Styles. And on this channel, we talk about beauty, fashion, lifestyle, and styling. So today is going to be kind of like a lifestyle video, right? I introduced you guys to the 369 book, which I absolutely love. And I'm on another one right now. Um, the This is probably like, this is my fourth book, guys. And you guys could definitely just buy a, what do you call that? A journal <laughs> and, and write. But for whatever reason, when I see the book, it just makes me want to write in it. But today I'm going to bring to you another book that I have been reading for a while now. And the reason why it's taking me so long is because to when they're talking in this book, um, you're taking a lot of notes. You're writing notes, you're taking mental notes, and you're letting the message sink in. And the book is called Think and Grow Rich by... This is the... Okay, so I got this from Target. So it's Think and Grow Rich, the complete classic text by Napoleon Hill. So the reason they have a couple of versions to this, I like this version because it looks like the original version, okay? So these are some of the things I do in my personal life outside of social media. I like to stay grounded when it comes to me, my energy, um, people that I'm around when I'm at my day job. Um, you know, just trying to separate myself from certain things and stay grounded within myself. And Think and Grow Rich is one of those books where it's so funny because I was having, I don't want to say difficulties at work, but the person was being difficult, okay? And then I had to come to the conclusion that, hmm, they're a lot older, they may be just in a really miserable place in their life. And I just had to like remove myself from it. Um, and I did, like I could care less what happens. <laughs> Um, but I still have to work with this person. So when I feel like they're being negative, I just, I kind of just let it fly by. <laughs> but Think and Grow Rich. All right. So in this book, it touches on personal life, money. It touches on your job, dealing with people. Um, it touches on your subconscious mind. It, the power of the mastermind. Okay, so the mastermind part, I absolutely love. And here's why. The mastermind part is pretty much saying that you're about to start this new venture. So let's just say it's like a business venture, right? Or an influencer. Let's use that one. <laughs> um, either one. They both still business. So it tells you to surround yourself with this you, you're creating like this group of people. It can be men or women. And you're going to have like the meetings, the meeting of the minds. And this is where you and this group of people are going to start to hash out ideas and things and kind of piggyback off of each other. The bottom line is you can't do it on your own, right? You can try, but you need support from somewhere. And it's hard to get true support from people, especially when people kind of think that it's not enough to go around, right? So they don't like to share, they don't like to help. But when you find people who actually love to help, I I can almost guarantee you how everything just starts to really, really move. And you start to get things shown, revealed to you that you need. Um, it talks about the brain, the sixth sense, how to outwit the six um, ghosts of fear. So it just breaks down a lot of stuff your desire, your faith, your auto-suggestion, specialized knowledge, your imagination, um, your decision-making. Now, haha, I'm slurring because this damn Invisalign. Decision-making is by far the best part to me because I've lived like this. And when what he means by decision-making is once you decide it's already done, right? So if you're deciding that I, you're going to take your YouTube channel to the point so far to where you are the go-to person for everything. And you may just be an all-around person when people just love to talk to. They love to pick your brain. Um, if you're deciding today that that's what it's going to be, that's what it's going to be. So what happens after that is you start to now work towards that. Then... Here's the best part. Things start to be revealed to you. People come out of nowhere to start to help you. And huh, I think people really don't really make the decision sometimes. 
like they're always on the fence so i'll give you an example i had a friend and she wanted to move from where she lived oh i want to move so bad i want to move i want to move so bad and she was like stuck between all these different places i think it was like three places and i was like well where you want to go and she's like i don't know yet and i was like well how are you supposed to get any guidance if you really don't know God and the universe can guide you, but what is it that you feel right in your heart, right? Where, where is it that you see yourself? Visualization is another one. You visualize something, oh, if you can see it, it's already yours. I'll say this, God and the universe, okay, whichever y'all, because I know people use two different things, or oh, maybe even three or four, um, he's not gonna give you the vision if you can't attain it, okay? So if you see, like I see myself doing certain things, like I'm a helpful person, it's just a part of my nature. Um, I'm not perfect, but I like to help. I like to be the go-to person to help people because I like to see the outcome. I like to see people happy. I like to see people say, oh my God, you helped me so much. And I just love it, like, cause I know in how I believe, I feel that anybody can do anything. It's just what it is. Nobody can change my mind about that. Um, I feel like when it comes to you not being able to do it, it's because you're choosing not to even kind of step out of your comfort zone, right? Take those damn burpees this morning. <laughs> if I didn't put on Rocky, I would have been devastated in it. But I actually did them all and I was so shocked. But that song hyped me up. Um, <laughs> so organized planning, it's another thing. So... Yes, we have to organize when it comes to certain things. And also, yes, things do. Sometimes you don't have to plan, but in order to get to where you need to go, you have to have a plan. And it's kind of like what I talk about with my styling company. If you're telling me that you want your, your wardrobe to look a certain way, and you're just out there willy-nilly shopping, that ain't gonna help. You have to strategize and plan. If I wanna be a certain type of YouTuber or possibly influencer for tall women, um, I have to strategize this. I have to figure out who's really struggling. Now, I know what the struggles are because I've been there and done that. Um, but I also don't shop at tall girl brands. That's not something that I ever did. So that can set me apart from other women. I just never shopped at tall girl brands. I've always made it work. I've always found the tailor and that was just it. Um, I just always knew how to look nice. So this book, where am I at? I am on chapter... I am like so behind, guys, because it's such a good book. I am in the organized planning. It's such a good book because it makes you think. And it makes you also not, it's not a read. You understand? Like, it's not just you read through the book and that's it. No. You're literally going to be taking notes. You're going to put the book down for a week or so. You're going to let it marinate. All these things are happening when you read this book, guys. Um, I'm going to see if I can link it from Target. I like this version better guys I do I don't know visually I like it um let's see information to be supplied in a written brief so in like I said in the book is certain exercises that you, they want you to do write down read them every day um and that's it but this is another book that I recommend all of you ladies get this is my gonna be my thumbnail my thumbnail <laughs> All of you ladies get, and gentlemen, um, if you have not. And if you don't want to read the book, which I recommend, you can listen to the audio, but you're going to be stopping and writing. So this is why I said get the book um, and listen to the audio if you want, but this way you'll have the actual book handy and you can write stuff down. You can highlight, keep some notes, guys. It's an amazing book. Keep this and keep your 369 book and you will be golden guys trust me your mindset is gonna shift you're not gonna let certain things bother you um like i said nobody's perfect so we're we are gonna get irritated some days but it's up to us to to basically let it take control if that makes sense right so if you like more lifestyle videos like this on things that i like to do in my daily life let me know like i said i have been working out online with um glory b she is amazing guys um love it i love it and i think you guys should just take think about getting this book um by napoleon hill all right and let me know what you guys think have you read this book before um 
what are some other books that you recommend that are kind of like this and if you haven't read it would you recommend getting it as well as that 369 book so if you like videos like this please comment below and if you stay to the end of this video please comment coco we see you and don't forget to follow me on instagram at coco styles ny which is my styling page and coco styles nyc which is my tall girl i guess style page um and my blog for that page is coco styles www.cocostylesnyc.com and then coco styles nyc yeah and why.com is my style and services. I may change those names. This is a tongue tie. So I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.